Whether you're fly fishing in a stream, getting those ankles wet, or deep in the ocean casting nets, fish nerds, fish nerds, fish nerds, it's a podcast. Hello and welcome to the Fish Nerds, the show about fish, fishing and eating fish. Clay Groves hanging out with you here on the 17th day, yeah, 17th day of National Podcast Posting Month and we are still going strong. I hope you're enjoying it. It's fun. It's really fun to hear from listeners. And our friend Piper has phoned in on the Fish Nerds hotline, 607-378-FISH, and left his fishy pet peeves. Now, if you want to get yours in, do what Piper did. Call us, 607-378-FISH. Leave us a voicemail, and we will use it here on the show. And I'm not going to give you any hints as to what Piper's pet peeves are. So he gave us two. So let's jump right in. Hello, Clay and the Fish Nerds Podcast. My name is Piper, and I'm from Wyoming. Um, I have two fishing pet peeves for you. They're tied to one local fishing spot um, that I go to. It's on the North Platte River. I won't give you the exact location. I'm not doing that. But anyways, at this location where I go fish, a lot of times people catch carp out there, and people consider carp as a trash fish. And instead of putting them back in the water, they'll throw them on the bank, and you'll have carcasses of carp laying all on the bank, and they sit there for weeks. I'm just kind of tired of walking around carcasses, and I just I want a clean area when I go fishing. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the pet peeves. The second pet peeve tied to this fishing spot is that this same fishing spot just recently put out an archery range um, just on the back side near the parking lot. And it cuts off one of the accesses where the creek shallows out or the river, sorry, shallows out. And they closed off that whole area. So you can't fish it anymore. Um, Yeah, that was just, it just kind of irks me that I can't go fish that spot anymore, but it is what it is. Thank you all for listening. And I hope you have a great rest of your, of your national podcast posting month. Holy smokes, Piper. I could not agree with you more uh, about the the carp problem, people killing fish because they think they're helping out something, or people calling fish trash. Those are two of my pet peeves as well. Here in New Hampshire, we've got a similar problem with nice fishing seasons where there are a lot of people, like, I mean, it might even be as many as half of the people I know who ice fish kill fish because they don't want to catch that fish anymore. So they might catch, the two I see most often killed on the ice are, car, are uh, I want to say carp, it was not carp. <laughs> My brain is thinking about your, your message. It is uh, yellow perch and pickerel I find on the ice all the time. I find giant piles of yellow perch and just big, giant dead pickerel on the ice because they think that they are cleaning the lake out or helping the game fish out. Meanwhile, those two fish are native species. They're calling trash, and the fish that they're after are things like bass and rainbow trout, which are non-native species. So they kind of, if they really want to help out, they'd be eating the bass. But they don't want to help out. They want to kill stuff. It's bad mojo. Do not like it. I'm with you on that one. And the other problem is access. We have a lot of weird access here as well. Um, I'm trying to think of ways you can mitigate for archery range shooting over your head while you're fishing. You could join them, do some, uh, <laughs> do some archery fishing. That might be fun. Just stand in the range and attach a line to one of your uh, <laughs> one of your arrows. Or maybe you can get some really cool... Oh, you know what you could do? You could dress up as a ninja turtle and get like a big shell on your back that will protect you while you fish. And wear a helmet too. It'll be fine. Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, Piper, thank you so much for calling in and leaving us your voicemail for National Podcast Posting Month. If you want to get your voice on our show and share your fishy pet peeves, you can go to fishnerds.com There's an icon of a microphone on our website. Click on that and just start talking. The other way you could do it is grab your cell phone and find the voice memo function, record your memo there, and that way you can do two, three takes if you want to. Send us a good one. (laughs) Send it to clay at fishnerds.com, and we'll get you on the show. Everyone who sends us a voicemail will get entered to win a great prize package from Glasswater Anglers and a Fish Nerds prize package as well. That's all I've got for you here for National Podcast Posting Month. Fish Nerds out.